here we have a good array of bars from uh, chrome cheaper bars all the way up to higher quality bars one thing that has come from the CrossFit market is the need for better quality bars but a lot of normal gyms are benefiting from that also um, if we take a quick look here's your typical bar that you would get in gyms chromed bar bolt on sleeves a typical issue with the shiny chrome bars is chipping over time but also the bolted on sleeves if there's any sort of impact then the bolts shearing um, also where they're made of a lesser grade of steel or they seem to be nowadays um, to be stronger they're made thicker so a much thicker bar in the palm whereas if we have a look something like the split sleeve bar at the end so split sleeve bar does away with the bolt shearing issue to an extent this one having a slighter thicker grip again and we'll work our way round to one that most people are familiar with certainly powerlifters the Texas power bar this is the original one and um, not so much rust build up given the age of this bar is what you'd expect uh, but 29 mil shaft uh, these are well known for very thick uh, and sharp knurling. Um, so they cut into your hand a bit and they're a very stiff bar. So um, very good general powerlifting bar. Um, but perhaps uh, the knurling is a bit too harsh and there's not enough flex in the shaft for a lot of people's uses. And then we go all the way up to these bars, which... Um, I'm very keen on the ATX bars. Got two slightly different versions here: the chromed finish and the zinc oxide finish. Both 28 mil. Um, this one, the depth of the knurling, a uh, couple of millimeters difference, but both nice feel in the palm. Nice dry. You're not getting that slippery chrome finish of the cheaper Chinese bars. And you've got the two ring marks as well. Um, so both the powerlifting and the weightlifting rings not much movement around there with the bronze bushing that's the same on both bars and a good amount of spin um, without being too much the good idea with the bushings as well um, from a long term point of view with a bearing housing if you have got perhaps people dropping it on some lifts then it can impede the race of the bearing housing so bushing tends to be cheaper um, and the life of the bar is likely going to be greater as well. Uh, typical features on here as well, like the snap rings. The sleeve is a two-piece, but I had to ask to find that out because it's very good design. So I can't see anything ever going wrong with the sleeve. Also checked out a couple of local CrossFit boxes, and they've had these bars in operation for a couple of years. So um, both very nice bars, whichever one you went with. Just show 28mm shaft. So nice contact, nice fill. And a bit more flex in the bar compared to something like the Texas Power Bar. So for most gyms, we'd be very happy purchasing a bar like these.